And our ancestors, when food was abundant, they ate well, but then they would also undergo these natural seasonal famines. And when we do that, it actually activates a self-cleaning process in our body. We call that autophagy, where our body actually starts to break down old damaged cellular organelles. In particular, the main one we look at is the mitochondria. The mitochondria produce all the energy within all the cells of our body, but they do more than that. They're actually like the brain and nervous system of the cell. When they're producing energy, as a byproduct of that, they produce oxidative stress, which is kind of like rusting. And this is normal and natural. It's healthy. However, those mitochondria, they start to break down over time because of the oxidative stress. And our body needs to break down and recycle the raw materials and produce new, healthy, stress-resilient mitochondria. So we need kind of this seasonal cleansing and, and recycling process. And that's what happens when we are in a time of famine. When we're fasting, our insulin levels go down. And insulin is this amazing hormone. But if we overstimulate insulin, insulin basically blocks autophagy. It doesn't allow us to break down these damaged mitochondria. It also doesn't allow us to burn fat for fuel when insulin is elevated. In our society today, because food is hyper palatable, it tastes great. We've got all these different sugars and carbs and processed elements and chemicals and things like that. All these things overstimulate insulin, which can cause more cravings. So we eat more, but also, of course, it blocks our ability to undergo this seasonal repair, the seasonal internal cellular cleansing.